what I have here is a very basic template and what it's set up to be is an advertisement for every time that a special occasion is on such as Halloween, Valentine's Day or Christmas that Max's Pizzeria can send out an automated document that's formatting changes in conjunction with whatever the special event is. So basically what I'm going to do is use this basic template and run a macro that will give it a Christmas theme. So what I'm going to do is firstly highlight this happy occasion. I'm going to developer and I'm going to go record macro. And what I'm going to do is call it Christmas. So what I want to happen is that it's going to say Merry Christmas and the colors are all going to go Christmas theme. So the headings will either be red or green. I'm going to assign the keyboard shortcut and I'm going to make it Alt C. Okay, it's unassigned so I'm safe to use it. So I'm going to go assign. Okay, so Alt C gets recorded and then I'm going to go close. So now first thing I'm going to do is type Merry Christmas. Okay. I'm then going to go and change all my headings. Now, if you look here straight away, that's a title heading. So I'm actually going to right click on it and I'm going to go modify and I'm going to change it to red text. Okay. And I might make it actual, um, let's go down to maybe Hobo STD. We'll type it in so it gets there quicker. There it is. Okay, so giving it a nice type of Christmas theme. So I'm going to go OK. Okay, and that formatting's changed. I'm going to do the same thing as well to my Heading 1 document. So once again, right click. Okay, I better click where they are. Okay, right click, modify. And once again, Hobo and Red. Okay, we'll go OK. And so that's changed my month and pizza areas to comply with my formatting. And then my normal regular text, I'm going to change to green. So I'll make sure they're highlighted. And go modify. And we'll make them, we'll keep them as century gothic, but we'll change their color to green. Okay. All right, so very basic, but now it's got more of a Christmas theme for this actual document. So I'm going to now stop my actual macro and we'll test it out. Now, what I've done is I've also inserted other macros for other seasons. So I'm going to go file, save as, okay, and I'm going to save this as an actual macro enabled template. So I'm going to go into word template. And I'm going to go down on my list and select macro enabled template. So it will be saved as a template, but also a macro enabled template. Now, I do not want it to go to the custom office place. I want it to go specifically to my file. So I'm going to go to my actual file path. Okay, and my word template, just to ensure that my template does appear in there and go save. Okay, so now I'm going to close this. Okay, so my template saved and I might open up the original file. Okay, and let's test them all out. So let's try Halloween, Alt H. Let's try out Valentine's Day. So I always got to make sure I highlight the heading first. Okay, happy Valentine's Day and let's try out Christmas, Alt C. Okay, so I hope you can see how saving a file as a template with macros enabled can make my life a lot easier. All I've got to do now is change some text in there and then this could be ready to go. I can use it in conjunction with a mail merge, okay, as well as other types of um, formatting and it just speeds up the processes of things I might have to regularly do year to year. It makes them a lot faster. So give this activity a try.